Hey there, welcome back. Alex Lyon here, and today we're talking about high context and low context cultures. We will be working out of BB and Masterson's book on communicating in small group. So this is an introduction to these kinds of materials, not a comprehensive source for your research studies. We're just gonna learn the basics for beginners. So let's get into the details. So first, this area of study of culture comes from the field of anthropology. And when we say high or low context, we're not talking about an either or situation where you can put a country once and for all in a box. Really, this is better understood as a relative scale. So is this country or culture high or low context compared to another one? So there are not boxes, it's a continuum. Nevertheless, high context cultures tend to have certain things in common. For example, they're associated with collectivistic cultures rather than individualistic. So people tend to see themselves as a part of a larger group. There's an emphasis and sensitivity to unspoken verbal messages. Communicators' mood shapes how messages should be interpreted, and the physical context and environment help communicators make sense of those messages. In fact, I have a pretty good friend who grew up in Japan, and she moved to the United States, and one of the things she says about Japan, which is generally considered to be a high context culture, says that when you're interacting with other people, she said, quote, you have to read the atmosphere. That was the expression that is a Japanese expression, read the atmosphere. In other words, it's not so much about what people are saying. You have to notice what's happening in the context, the environment around those people and what they're doing and saying. So collectivistic culture allows individuals to understand the meaning of subtle behaviors because there's a strong culture there. Verbal messages are fewer. They may be indirect and may imply much more than what is directly being said. So in Japan, for example, you might hear someone say to a request, that will require the utmost consideration. But if you know how to read between the lines, it means they're trying to say no to you, but they also don't want to embarrass you. So there's more going on than what is actually said. And in high context situations, individuals may not see low context individuals as particularly trustworthy. So they may need time to get to know people. So let's now turn to low context cultures. These are associated typically as individualistic cultures. So people tend to see themselves as individuals, not automatically part of a larger group. They rely on spoken messages and direct verbal expression. It places a greater emphasis on the importance of speech. The requests for information are much more direct. You might hear someone literally say, tell it like it is, or give it to me straight. They use expressions like that. There's less reliance on the context of communication to understand its meaning. So you're listening to the actual message. You're not noticing all the other contextual features of it. There's less sensitivity to nonverbal cues. People might not be picking up at all on the nonverbal situation compared to a high context culture. And individuals here might have fewer skills at interpreting those nonverbal uh, moments and, and signals that people are giving off. Now, there, there's a continuum that researchers have developed that show, relatively speaking, where these kinds of countries line up. And this is certainly not a comprehensive list. There are a lot more countries in this, but these are the ones that tend to stand out. And that is all the way up at the top, we have high context cultures like Japan and China tend to have very high context cultures where they, they read that atmosphere, as I mentioned. Somewhere in the middle, you have like the British culture, French culture, and then a little bit below that, you have the United States, which, which is where I'm from. And we have what we what tend to have compared to others, a, a low context cultures where we will want people to speak directly, give us the bottom line, tell it like it is. We want things spelled out a little bit more. And then all the way down toward the bottom is Germany and Switzerland. They tend to have very low con context cultures. And I have never had much exposure to those cultures myself, but that's, that's what the research says. Things need to be said very directly and very explicitly. There's not a lot of reading between the lines. You spell it out directly. 
So question of the day, what has been your experience in any of these high context or low context cultures? Have you ever gone to another place and not really realized all that was going on in terms of whether it was higher or lower uh, context compared to where you're, you are from. So I would love to hear about your experiences in that section below the video, and I look forward to reading those. So thanks, and I will see you soon.